everyone. Thank you so much for joining for today's uh, short tutorial. I'm going to show you how to use sponge brayers. Um, I use the sponge brayers to create this card right here. This card is in the Stampin' Up! catalog. It shows it, I believe it's a four by four in the catalog, but well, I made it a regular card size. I'm going to show you how I did that. So you you get, when you order the uh, sponge brayers from Stampin' Up! you get two handles and you get four of these sponges. These sponges are super easy to clean. You just take off this plastic piece right here and you run it under water and you squeeze it and then they, it, the ink comes out quickly and they actually dry really fast as well. So they're really handy to use over and over again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the first sample on glossy paper. You can get glossy paper, Staples, Walmart, you can use photo paper. I like the glossy paper for some things. Um, and in particular, I seem to like it when it comes to water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, because we've got the uh, sunset in there, I'm going to start just by adding some yellow to my cardstock. So I'll just sponge over. You just and when you sponge, when you roll this into the uh, stamp pad. It doesn't look like it's picking up much ink, but it's actually got quite a bit of ink on here. I've made about four cards so far and haven't cleaned these, so it's, the ink is starting to get built up. But when you first use it, it doesn't look like there's any ink in there, but you'd be surprised. Okay, so I just want to add some yellow. And I'm going to put that aside for a minute, and I'm going to change over to Night of Navy. And I'm going to... I think what I'll do is starting off is I'm going to use, I'm using this stamp set called Sending Sunshine. So it's got your, your water here and it's got the place here for the setting sun. And there's your setting sun stamp. It's a really pretty stamp set. So I'm using Night of Navy. And so I'm just gonna ink up my stamp. And then I'll put it right about there. So you can see that I still have some yellow in there, which is going to be perfect for the effect that I'm trying to get. Now, I want to keep some of this water here. See how it has the ripples in the water? I, I don't want to lose all of that. So I am just used a piece of post-it note and I'm going to put it over top like so. And then I'm going to use post-it notes along my horizon. I like to work this way, so I'm just going to put some of these along the edge. Okay, then I'm going to use still my Night of Navy ink. I'm going to ink up my brayer. And I'm just going to start, whoops, I'm going to start at the bottom. And I'm not going to go over the water a little bit. Every time I go over the water, it's just going to keep making it darker. So I'm just going to start off by going around it. And just building up a little bit of blue around first. Okay, and I'll just keep layering it on there. You can see it's starting to get darker. building it up until I get where I think I'm happy with it. And then as I get it dark around the edges, then I'm going to start going over top and just getting the reflection to blend in a little bit more. 
the nice thing about these handles is they're flexible so it's nice because you can when you're applying pressure it just gets the sponge pressed nicely into the paper okay and then I'm going to just start to go over the whole thing It does take a little bit of work to build it up. Let's just see what it looks like right now. Okay, so it's a little bit, the contrast is way too much. So I'm still, what I'm gonna do is I'll remove this and I'll put this back over top. And then I wanna keep that still. So I'll use my scissors. And I'll just cut this a little bit smaller. Tuck it under. I'm gonna go over it. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so I think I'm gonna just leave it like that for now and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna move on to my next color. So I'm going to, this time I'm going to mask off where the water. Uh, okay, and now I'm going to start, well I'm still gonna start with the yellow, put the blue aside. Okay. And then I'm just going to brayer over with yellow. And I'm going to change to, I'm going to use terracotta tile. And I'm going to change this sponge here. And then I'm just going to work up a little bit. Just want a little bit of color. But I'll go over the yellow just a little bit because what I'm trying to avoid is getting this really dark line separation. Okay, and then I'm going to switch to Calypso Coral. I'll use the same sponge for this. I'm just going to go over the top. Oops. Okay, and then I'm going to switch back to my yellow. And then I'm just going to go over all of it again. And then that's going to blend in those lines. Okay, just blends it all in there nicely. Got some fingerprint in there. Okay, now I, when I put my post-it notes down, I put them to up too far. I didn't put them right on the edge, so I'm just going to move it down. And then I'll just go over that again with the yellow. I don't want those white lines there. Yeah, it's a little bit better. So what I'll do is I'm going to use the Sunset. Put it on a clear block. And I think I want 
a little bit of the terracotta and the and the yellow so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the whole sun in the daffodil delight and then I'm going to just gently do it not that way I did it the opposite of what I wanted I'll just use a sponge I got it all over my fingers do you guys do this too when you create oh boy I get I make a mess okay so we'll start over so I'm going to to uh, ink up the whole sun with the yellow and then the, the sun part I'm going to just try to put some the darker terracotta on there line that up and there you, you've got the setting sun so what I also do is I use a marker and I'm just gonna go over where the horizon is I'm just gonna go over with the marker just helps define it like so so that's all you have to do but you, do you see with the glossy stock it's really got a nice sheen to it and I just think when you're doing water it's just a really nice reflection so then I just I um to do the inhale, exhale, and enjoy, there it's all one stamp. So what you do, what I did, I mean everybody has their own ways of doing it. So I use washi tape and masks, and then I used the terracotta tile, and I stamped up the whole greeting. And then what I did is I used my uh, paper, my masks and washi tape to hold it down and then I stamped it on to my cardstock so you can see there that I did it there let's see if I get a scrap piece here and I can show you better so I'll take these off I'm going to stamp it in the terracotta tile again and then I'm going to mask off the two words that I don't want right now. This way you have more of a border around your words. So you've got more white space. So when you do that, then you have just the word inhale. It's still hard to see. Okay, and then you'll do the exact same thing with the other two words. And then for enjoy, I just fussy cut it out with my scissors and went around it. Okay, and then this is just Baker's twine and I wrapped it around a couple of times. And then the background is actually vellum and then I used the seabed embossing folder um, to emboss it and, and it just brings it all together. Now I'll show you if you were to stamp on white cardstock, just plain white instead of the glossy. So here's a piece of white and I'm going to just start off with yellow, and I'm only going to use yellow this time. So I'll bring this out. Okay, so I'll just like this here, and I'm going to start at the bottom and go up. And then every time I uh, re ink, I'm going to start at the bottom again and then just keep moving up. And I'm going to keep doing this over times so you can see that the bottom is darker and as I go to the top it's getting lighter so it's just gradually fading off But these sponges are really easy to use. You can use you know, your, your other sponges too and just dab if you like, but I like the, the effect of using the brayers because it, you don't have the sponge marks. It's a nice, solid, consistent color. Okay, so you can see there that I just started at the bottom and then worked it up so that it wasn't a consistent, it just got darker to lighter. 
And then all I did there, as I'll show you the finished card, is I used the Celebrate uh, Sunflower stamp set, and then I just stamped it and cut it out, and then I put it over top of the, the yellow. So it makes for a really nice background as well. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you've learned something, and we'll see you again. Thanks very much.